good here in this one here what we are going to be doing is multiplying polynomials so what do we mean by multiplication of polynomials well let's take some example example one we're going to have 2x plus 3 put square brackets multiplied with polynomial 3x to the second power plus 3x minus 5 so here by itself we would have a binomial multiply with a trinomial but the, what we are doing here is to demonstrate how to multiply polynomials we must use the <coughs> we must use the distributive property or distributive law more than once to multiply a polynomial by a binomial for example as this example here which i have will proceed by the following so what we will be doing here is that we will multiply the whole first term with every single term inside of this one here inside so that's how we're going to be doing this okay so let me write the first binomial in this case here and let me put that in in red so let me write out this one here three times I want to put here 2x plus 3 open close bracket and I'm going to put here um, plus to leave space for the other term and then I'm going to put here 2x plus 3 and then I must put here minus and I will explain everything right now where that minus comes from and so forth so here we have set up our first part so let me go back now and take each term of the second polynomial so these two x plus 3 comes from the first notice their sign this sign is this one here this sign is this so here I'm gonna put here 3 x to the second power I will encourage you to use brackets and here I'm gonna put 3 x which is a second term in this trinomial and then here times 5 so now because I prefer to put the first term at the front instead I think it would be better you put it at the front so in other words you don't have to do this step here but I'll just show you what has happened that the whole term here is multiplying every single term inside and this is how this would look but you can say it up this way you can say 3x squared times 2x plus 3 oops let me put this in type of bracket although it doesn't make much of a difference but let's try to stay consistent so you see plus and um, the other term which will be 3x here 3x times 2x plus 3 then minus 5 times 2x plus 3 so now it is for us to multiply each term inside of the bracket also by the front in by the term in front of the bracket so we're going to say 3 times 2 which will give me 6 x squared times x that will give me x to the third but well, let me put out everything in detail 2 plus 1 as the powers and then i'm going to say plus 3 times 3 9 and since there's no term here with the x squared just bring down the x squared here plus now 3 times 2 6 x to the first times x to the first well that's going to be 1 plus 1 and then 3x times 3 that will give me 9x now i'm going to say negative 5 times positive 2 is going to give me negative 10 x because x is by itself negative 5 times 5 will give me negative 25 if you're wondering where or why did i put 2x plus 1 this is to just let you guys recall let me put here recall that a bs to a power times that bs to a different power we keep the bs and simply add their powers okay that is where that came from so at this level we should be able to skip this step 
but I'm just showing it just in case. So this step would then be 6x to the third plus 9x squared plus 6x squared and 9x minus 10x. Well, that is going to give me negative 1x. So let me put here negative 1x minus 25. Now, I continue to see if I can join any like terms. There's no like term with 6x to the third power, but we do have 9x squared plus 6x squared, which will give me 15x squared minus x. Since it's to the 1 power, I mean to the 1 coefficient, we can leave it simply as 1. Since this has coefficient of 1, I mean the power of 1 or exponent of 1, you can leave it just as x, that's understood, minus 25, and that would be our solution to this problem. So we have just multiplied a binomial with a trinomial, in other words, multiplied polynomials. How do we go about? We apply distributive law. Here I have applied distributive law once, and then here I'm applying distributive law again to go further. So sometimes you may use distributive more than once. So what does this suggest? Well, let me write it down here, what it suggests. It suggests that to multiply one polynomial by another, we multiply each term of one polynomial polynomial by each term of the other polynomial and then combine like terms that's what we just did just now so this is our summary for this piece here okay so here we have two polynomials being multiplied we're not interested if it's binomial or trinomial just putting that two polynomials so that is what would be our solution in such case. So that's for polynomial multiplication. Also, it is also convenient for us to organize the work vertically. So you can work this vertically likewise. In the next video, you will see how this problem is worked vertically. Again, key point here that to multiply one polynomial by another we multiply each term of one polynomial by each term of the other polynomial and then combine like terms that is what we did here